Oh, I just want to talk about my little um, how I became a comedian story. Um, I might go off base and then come back. But um, I was in D.C. and it was to publish the book. Matter of fact, I'll go back even further of how I got into writing the book when I was a Christian. Um, and I might become a Christian again because I'm scared shitless. I am just bugging the fuck out over all these things that I'm finding out. And I'm like, what? Okay, what had happened was I had a Christian friend. I still have a Christian friend in Queens that's um, in the very nice upscale part that is a Republican also, which is why I went on stage <laughs> talking about Putin in World War Three. Anyway, like long story short, sent me on a mission talking about a video and I, ch I you know, YouTubed it that was talking about the whole world is going to be under some type of euphoric state, that that is the devil's plan, the devil's agenda, you know, the Illuminati or whatever. And keep in mind, when I was younger, my mother read tarot cards, uh, read palms and Dianetics, which to me, today I realize is all a part of witchcraft. And as a Christian, I thought that was all bad. Look at the eye. I didn't even do that on purpose, but that's the eye of Horus, maybe, maybe not, or the eye of Illuminati, which goes back to the days of Egypt, which is why I choose gold. <clears throat> anyway, long story short, see how long this fucking video lasts, right? Embrace yourself, or brace yourself, don't embrace yourself. And embrace yourself, that'd be nice. Give yourself a hug. Everybody needs a fucking hug. Um... Yes, that's World of Warcraft playing in the background. I'm uploading it, downloading it, whatever you want to call it. Technologically declined, I am. <coughs> I do not smoke. I, that's just a cough from going out in the rain the other day um, without a hoodie or a hat. Okay, two minutes in. Let me try to be fast. I um, had a playlist of my journey of finding out the truth because I started to realize one of the videos made me really like wait a minute it was the video about Esau and Jacob how his mother made some type of furry thing and put it on his arm to make his father who was giving them an inheritance think that he was one brother but he was really the other brother and um, I went to go scratch my eye turf um, Anyway, long story short, it was just the fact of these are the people who wrote the Torah and the Talmud, which are, you know, two books of riddles, which led to the Bible and then led to the Quran. So it showed me how the books, the very books that I based my life off of, you know, like when I was a Christian, um, made a lot of decisions off of, which is why I get angry about that whole child thing, because I love my kids, but I would have never had any kids if I didn't think that it was... Um, a good thing like to be fruitful now I realize that we are in a big America's a big slave camp so it's like having a child number one is besides being the most selfish thing it's like passing on the torch like I worked all these years now you're gonna work all these years to take care of me and then I know it sounds sick but in the back of parents minds that's the whole point you raise your kids to be the best they can because one day they're gonna take care of you as sick as that is, that's a little selfish if you look at it from a different standpoint. Anyway, I love my kids, like I said, um, and I thought it was good to be fruitful. I didn't know that the whole uh, point of religion or, or the books was to make people have more people for them to do their work, if that makes sense. You know, they call me crazy, so I know this might not make any sense to anybody. Um, and what I did with my beauty was not a good thing, and that's the reason why I'm ugly, fat, and old right now. So, I'm working on acceptance, as I said in an earlier video. Because now I'm just doing videos because I'm too afraid to publish that book the way I was going to publish it. It was going to be, I didn't even realize that I had, I really was back on the dark side. I, I thought it was light and love. Oh, God. <laughs> 